Who here loves a good party? <laughs> well, one woman threw an epic one for two very special loves in her life, her breasts. <laughs> After being told by doctors that she was to receive a double mastectomy, Andy Seely of Philadelphia was concerned about family and friends feeling sorry for her, so what did she do? She dealt with the news by throwing a farewell party for her breasts that she called a ta-ta to my ta-tas. <laughs> you know, these, um, these bye-bye booby parties are not uncommon. I have a ton of patients, obviously, who need mastectomies weekly, and many of them do throw these parties. I've been to a couple, complete with the the breast cake in a brassiere and the booby cupcakes and it's fun. It becomes it turns something mournful and unexpected and uninvited into a woman's life and brings family and friends together to celebrate their life. Instead, you say, you know what? Yes, this was unwelcome, but I'm taking these lemons and making lemonade. We're yeah. gonna have fun. I mean, okay. and it, you're, you're so right. I mean, this can be a well, it is a devastating event for any woman, but but taking the positive side of it, hey, I, I, there's a problem, I'm gonna address the problem, and I'm gonna move on. So it, it's kind of refreshing. She had a approach. breast cake that said, thanks for the mammaries. <laughs> well, but I also like, what I like is that she actually said, hey, and had people at the party feel her cancer, right. and say, hey, this is what breast cancer feels like for her, you know, her particular breast cancer, which as a, as a, a breast, Cancer so, connoisseur, you gotta love that, right? Empowering, educational, because, you know, cancers, unfortunately, aren't just in one shape and size, but that is one shape and size. And now all the women at that party, and maybe some men, know what that cancer feels like, and it's empowering. But what well, a way little... to take ownership. What a way of giving a story a different meaning and turning your life around and saying, you know what, I'm not gonna be a victim of this. I'm taking that power, and I'm sharing this moment with my family, because sometimes when you get a news like that for yourself, the fear of the unknown, not knowing what's gonna happen, and then how your family is gonna react. So this is not only for her healing and dealing with this in such a positive, loving, and empowering way, but this is also for her family. Yep. So like that, they're not worried because what happens when someone gets news like that? Mom, dad, brothers, sisters, daughters, you know, sons. Right. It's something that you automatically worry about. Andy, cheers to you. Best of luck in your recovery.